touched by it in our area and all over the world. And they seem to sort of hit a wall. They have medication, they go to rehab, they re-go to rehab. It always seems like it starts with hope and it ends with broken hearts. And I think a lot of people feel like there's no solution. In your opinion, is there a solution? There is, there are solutions because depending on what the addiction is to, the solution varies. Of course, without a desire on the individual's part to make a meaningful change, um, there is no chance. So the person has to be willing to do what's going on. The problem is, is the solution is not just take a pill and all goes away. It's a, it's a labor intensive sort of life rebuilding process that is, can be done surprisingly quickly and with very surprising success, especially in the area of opiates, the one we're most worried about. Unfortunately, you got to do the total package to do it right. You've got to do the therapy side. You've got to do, uh, you've got to address how to, within the case of opiates, how to shut off the withdrawal. And by the way, not reduce it. You must shut it off totally because craving, which is the most sensitive symptom of withdrawal, is the one that takes people down. In my opinion, it's also really important to address and correct underlying things such as depression, anxiety, impulse control, maybe attention deficit disorders that the person didn't realize but that these make their life difficult which kind of drives them into using drugs so they're not as upset. So I try to go after how do I physiologically optimize somebody both from the opiate standpoint and maybe any genetic problems that they inherited. That's where being a psychiatrist comes in very handy. Uh, I've tried very hard to study um, the whole side of the scientific aspect of how to use what I believe is the best treatment right now, and that is Suboxone. And so I try to use that in what I think is the best thing. And then I try to do therapy, and here I have a bit of an edge. Uh, unfortunately, like many people, a number of years ago, I tried uh, a mind-altering drug that I was sure wouldn't affect me, and within 10 seconds, I was addicted. Sounds impossible to say, and that set off a string of a lot of effort, a lot of behaviors to come back from that state. But, and I don't think I'm unusual. I will tell you, I wish I hadn't gone down that road, but I'm a better person today than I was before that, and I think that's possible for anybody who gets the right kind of treatment.